Uncle Larry Outdoors welcomes you to Vermont. I just have to grab something real quick out of this. I know it's kind of gross. <laughs> grab these I'm big sorry. nuggets. No, eat this. I'll buy you more. These no. are, I'm not eating these. I'm just, we're going to use these blocks. Uh, okay. Something. I'm like, I will buy you more. You don't have to eat them. We, we need them as tackle boxes. Dude, you're an idiot. You dumped your sauce in here. No, I didn't. I did. I'm an idiot. Are we gonna just leave that in there? Is I it mean, just, is it all part of it? Look at our charging station. It's so organized. So ready to go. We'll have these batteries. Don't work. All right. Eric Guarino, Johnny Flogel, Uncle Larry Outdoors. We're big fans of the guys over at Mystery Tackle Box. Shout out to Gavin, Carl, Evot, the whole crew. Today, we're gonna be doing our own version of Mystery Tackle Box. Went to McDonald's last night. Had an absolute feast. Got a couple 20 piece boxes with us. The rules are we can only use the baits that are loose within our car. Loose means it's not in a tackle box. It's not put away neatly. <laughs> it might be down there on the floorboards in the dust. That's what we want. The dustier the baits, the better. Who had the cooler day? Let us know. No pounds, no limits of fish, no target species, no goal. Just who had a cooler five hours you'll get our mystery tackle box. Unsponsored by either McDonald's or mystery tackle box. By the way, Gavin. All right, let the grabbing begin. Well, this counts right off the bat, just sitting on the dashboard. Anything down here below the shirts? Uh-oh, full pack. Kinda just getting all the loose baits out. Oh, this is my trash bag. That's a nice looking Kai Tech. Start off with that. He could have my fish and game complaint tickets. Now, that <laughs> I'll keep. 20 days to pay. Like I said, nothing in a tackle box. Gotta be loose, gotta be loose. Oh, big time, big time. A broken one for backup. I'll give him another good one. Look at this. It's even got the trailer on there. Here's two of these. All right, that's plenty of Kytex for you, kid. Yeah, you're doing pretty well there. All right, ha, he's gonna hate this, but I'm gonna give him two rattling nets by the Guggen squad. Don't think he needs connectors. Some of these tubes to throw with that, those jig heads. These could be good. Oh, everything's boxed up back here. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> There's water slashes in. Lucky ass duck, he's gonna get a Binsky. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna give him so much better shit than he's giving me. Look at this. <laughs> oh, frog just sitting here. Couple Molex creature baits in here. And a popper, a storm popper. Oh, this is my Jack Lynx bag from my last trip. Should be something good in here, I think. Some floating daddios. Let's give him one of these. Oh. Can we open them? Maybe we open them. Right I think now. we open them. All right. Because it also is going to determine. Oh my God! Wait, yours looks so organized. Wow. A lighter. <laughs> <laughs> 5 p.m. We have our meetup spot. We know what we have to do. Could you do a little song? Something beautiful. Something that the kids are going to love when they hit. It's 12.30. You're good to go. I just got to find my spot. 5.30. You just popped in. Oh, yeah, he's, he's. yeah, breathe in, breathe out. If you're iced up, pull your sleeves out. Wow. Okay, stand in All right, we have arrived. And the first thing I honestly need to do is put on long sleeve pants because this is going to be a trek. Maybe I could do sweatpants. That might suffice. I just have to protect my legs from whatever poisonous plants or animals, I don't know, anything. Normally, in this kind of situation, I would definitely go with one rod, 
but I have so many different types of baits in that box. I'm probably gonna go two rods. Johnny gave me a very solid assortment. Gotta shout him out for that. Oh boy, the trunk that doesn't close. So I'm gonna do one spinning rod and then one bait caster. Can't use what are, what's currently on my rods though, so I'm gonna take those baits off. This is Vermont, not Brooklyn. I probably don't have to check if it's locked. It's a good habit to get in. I think I'm just... I mean, as soon as I saw hydroelectric. Wow, look at this. We even got a path straight down. Dude, what are we rolling up on? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> well, we found a spot. Now let's dive in. The mystery tackle box, Johnny Flogel exclusive. Okay, he gave me a. Sp Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to start with. I want to start with something finesse, just to get the bite. So he gave me one of these hooks, and some Sanko-like baits. Oh, he gave me a rattling Ned. <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna start with? A rattling Ned. Oh my god, look at these pools. Look at these pools, bro. First cast. I got bit on my first cast. Little small mouth, probably. You know what I'm thinking, though? Moving bait. I think, I think there's a spinner. All right, we're gonna make an instant adjustment. Instant adjustment here. He gave me a big old aglia with the skirt. I very much appreciate that, Johnny. Thank you for this winning spinner. That's probably gonna win the whole thing. Oh, I better not lose it though. It's gonna be a big thing, not losing baits. Oh my God, it's every cast with these little smallies. They just, they can't get this size spinner. I'm trying to move fast here. I think I gotta go find the slightly deeper pools that are maybe a little bit further down. All right, we're on the move. Okay. Right there. Oh, all right, so so many little smallies. I mean, that was obvious. We knew they were gonna be here. What can we do to find those bigger ones? What can we do to coax those bigger fish? To find other species too, that I know inhabit certain stretches of this river. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, here's the depth I was looking for and everything. Got him, there we go. That's a trout, that's a trout. Oh my God, first fish is a trout. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh, folks at home. Is that a, what is that? No, it's not a trout, it's a big fall fish. Okay, I don't usually catch these big falls. Hang on, okay. Okay, had to get things started. I thought it was a rainbow trout. Whoa, I am slipping right into the water. Oh boy, not good, not good, not good. I literally had to grab to save my life. The MEP spinner. I thought I had a rainbow on. Shows you how much I know about the area. Oh, oh. almost fell in again. All right, this is Ned Rig territory. Got him. Small mouth. All right. Two species. Little smally, but first one that actually was able to get hooked by the spinner. There we go. Got him. Another smally. Okay, so we know the little smallies are plentiful around here.
broken off. I just got broken off. Spinner, gone. Perfect size, perfect everything. That was a huge hit. Gone to a mystery fish. Okay, wow. Changes the game right there, folks. Really changes the game. Very much so. Okay, okay, not to panic. Not to panic. We're going back in the McDick's box. Not to panic. You gave me a diamond jig. Unbelievable. Oh, a Binsky. Okay, he did give me a Binsky. Okay. Oh, a spoon? Oh no, what is that? Oh, is that a Sabeel bait? Wow. I actually have a Binsky already tied on. But you know what? I'm going to play so by the rules that I'm going to take off the same bait only to retie on the one that he has. Because I'm just going to take this three quarter ounce Binsky and throw it out there and reel it straight in. I mean, if, if fish are breaking me off, there's pike down there. There's probably, I don't even know. That couldn't have been a walleye. That was a huge hit. Oh, you think they're not going to eat that? Got him. On the Binsky. <laughs> Small mouth on the Binsky. That's 12 inch or two. Keeper. All right, so second bait I've caught on in the box. About to make it three when I throw this rattling Ned. I mean, I do ha technically have a Kytec to work with, but let's go for that rattling Ned. We have a frog in there. So we might want to go find a pond. Thing is, I know I can't get caught up spending too much time anywhere in particular. There we go. That's a little bit better fish. Yep. Oh, it's a big fall fish. Look at the size of this fall fish on the Ned. Wow. It's bigger than the first one. I could lip this guy. Hang on. So luckily my GoPro died just after I caught that fall fish. I was able to take a picture and uh, put them back. I think what I want to do also is set up something on this bait caster so I could fish it down there as well. Okay. A little bit light size jig head, but that's going to work. Nice smallie. Oh, he got off. Damn, that was a decent one. Uh, see, look at this. This Kytec is already meshed up. Getting nailed on the way down was kind of interesting. Got him. Not a big one, but another bait from the box. Okay, now I've caught on the Kytec, the spinner, the Ned, and the Binsky. Let's see if I get any service out here. I'm gonna use this minute to try and look at other spots too. I mean, it just keeps going. Good looking water all over the place. Found another, so I think ultimately the plan is I'm leaving here. I'm gonna leave this spot. It was an amazing find. Caught my first fish out of it, got broken off, but I looked on the map and there's a lot else to explore, so I'm gonna do that. And look who found this spot. Unbelievable. Let's see if we can see him down there. Of course, we found the exact same spots. Getting back up, this is going to suck. But in the wise words of Johnny, I'm not worried about getting back up right now. Mm, I don't know if I like the sandy bottom. It seems like it's straight sand down there. Ideally, I'd like for there to be a mix of rock. Oof, little fish. There's just little smallmouth up here, I think. Seems like just way more life below the dam, even though I'm getting a lot of 
little hits from these little smallmouth. Got them. Little guy, see? All just baby smallmouth. We need better than that. All right, one more cast with the Ned, and then I'm out of here. Off to that pond, I think. We're gonna go try something totally different. If Johnny's down there and hasn't come up yet, I, I'm fearing the worst. Pretty cool area. The only public stretch though is this swim beach. I had the swim jigs and frogs, wanted to come to a pond. Just wasn't the deal here. The camera died right as I was rolling up. Through the Ned rig for a little bit, through the Kitek for a little bit. Just wasn't getting the bite. So I think the best course of action at this point is gonna be to head back to the river, specifically below that dam. All right, spot number four. Classic below bridge. Pretty simple. You know there's gonna be little smallmouth. That's just not what we're after. Okay, it gets a little deeper down there. Looks like that's a nice pool. God, this gives me heavy Shenandoah River vibes. Just going from bridge to bridge. I really think though that that first spot was kinda king. I shouldn't have left there so quick. But it's who had the cooler send and I feel like if I keep exploring spots, it's gonna be better than if I just do one. I still haven't found a good spot for the mag draft. Or the diamond jig for that matter. All right, I got these tiny jig heads with little crappy jigs. Maybe that's what I gotta be throwing. All right, spot number five. Keeping up with the bridge hopping strategy. I'm not gonna fish here for long, I don't think. It's looking pretty slow moving. It's kind of weird how this river's laid out. It's either these big slow moving stretches or very fast, rocky, dynamited out areas. This one looks like it could hold some fish though. I mean, there's no current, like none. And we're pretty close to Champlain at this point. I'm thinking at this point, if we can't beat them with big fish, let's at least catch fish on the most possible baits in the box, which we're already at Binsky, Kitek, Spinner, Ned Jig. And I believe there's actually something else too. Who's calling me? Is this Johnny? Your call has been forwarded to an Your call has been Oh, look at this. And now I got my cast master. That's unfortunate. All right, we got an extra hour. That means that I am gonna try and go further down towards Champlain, see if I can intercept these crazy lake fish, and then I can go back to my first spot. It's like a little backwater here. I don't know if it's any good. All right, oh, here we go. Oh, you know what I can do here? Got my braid rod ready to go. Sort of ready to go. Oh look, he even gave me a lighter to cut the braid. I knew I was gonna get use out of that lighter. I mean, I know there's bass in that creek because I've been up there before. All we need is one large mouth. Spot can't let me down. I mean, we're right by Champlain now. If I can't catch a largemouth in this grass, there is something wrong. Champlain is right there, and I figure, you know, might as well take a few casts into Champlain. Never know what's gonna happen. All right, it's a boat ramp, which, you know, normally that wouldn't be the move, but on a place like Lake Champlain, which, you know, this is cool in itself. I haven't seen this place in a long time, but 
I think we can catch fish from land here. Meanwhile, Johnny is just running the numbers up on me with those little small mouth. If I could just get one decent sized fish, I feel like I'll have a good shot. Oh, dude, there's pretty easy access. It looks like water's dirty. That's the only thing, very dirty water. I think right here, water is way too churned. Look at this though, we got a little, like I said, that grass kind of ends right there. There's an edge to it. You might have to go black and blue swim jig. Let's fish along these deep rocks for a minute though. There is a certain point that we got to cut it off though and go back and try to catch numbers to at least keep ourselves in contention. I didn't even realize this, but it is that railroad trestle. Flashback about seven years and I was catching my first ever tournament fish off that with Dave Shively. Shout out to you, bud. I hope you've been good. Caught a nice little limit off that trestle. All right, here we are. After all is said and done, back at the first spot. Not disappointed with my performance at all. I went all out for the big bite. Just couldn't get it. I fished Lake Champlain itself. I fished a different lake up in the mountains. I went all over this river. And of course, the biggest bite I ended up actually getting was here at the first spot. But I'm back here to run the numbers up because I know Johnny did based on that phone call. And if he caught a big fish too, it's over. He blew this thing away. If I can at least get a bunch more little smallmouth under my belt, I got the ultralight with me and my other spinning rod. Johnny gave me those little crappy jigs, so I'm feeling like that's gonna be key. I'm exhausted. That's how you know it was a true send. Should I have stayed here longer? Maybe. I couldn't really say, to be honest with you. It's all hindsight. Should go ahead and just put that crappy jig on to run these numbers up. So I'm definitely proud to say I threw everything in here today except for let's see except for whatever this is I do not know what that is and the Senkos and the mag draft and the diamond jig shit there was a lot I didn't throw there we go okay let's see how many we could put on the bank with this crappy jig. Okay. This is all that's gonna happen with this tube. Ooh, better one. Better one. On the ultralight. Fall fish. Fall fish on the ultralight in the tube. That's cool. Very nice. It's the third bait I've caught a fall fish on. Should have been down here throwing this jig earlier. Could have really ran the numbers up. But at that time, I was going for big bites. Got him. Keeper. That's one of the bigger smallmouth I've landed. Well, actually, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's just like all the others. Ultralight. I knew I had to get some ultralight action in. This isn't impressive because Johnny's thrown the ultralight the entire time. Oh, God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Found what they really are wanting right now. This is exactly what I wanted to do with this ultralight. Maybe even get a big bite. Who knows, boys? Much crazier shit has happened. 542. Running out of time. The clock is ticking. Can I put a big one in the boat? Can I put a big one in the bank? Last. Oh. I don't know about that, but I could sure put eight inches up there all day. All day eights. All right. 
As much as I want to keep doing this because it's a lot of fun, I really should not throw this anymore. All right, last two raw. A couple Kytex and a white jig head. Shit keeps breaking down there. I've got literally 10 minutes left and then I need to send it back to the car. I will not be late to check in of the first ever mixed read tackle box. Got him. <sighs> Might have busted my leader. Oh no, it didn't. Thank God. But that might just mark the end, folks. Wouldn't that have been cool if that was a fish? On way to spot one. I'm a couple minutes behind Eric because I was actually planning out my route just a little bit. We're gonna see. I'm nervous with the ultralight trying to throw some of these things. So we're gonna give it all we got. I think we're gonna have a great day. Big part of the send, always gotta make sure you got gas. Always gotta make sure you got gas, so we're doing that. I wanted to get on the water so badly that I bought $20 worth of gas and I pumped like 19 and a half of it because then it started pumping mad slow for the last 50 cents and I was like, I gotta get out of here. So if anyone finds themselves in Northern Vermont on the border of Canada and Swanton, you got 50 cents of free gas at the pump and go. All right, throw the Phoebe on get started on the day. See, the one thing I think Eric has a big advantage is I think Eric's actually much better at fishing hard on a time limit than I am. So this is gonna be a bit of a challenge for me. Keep up with this kid. I am only gonna be using the ultralight today. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Looks a little shallow here. I wonder if this box will still close if I can like carry this in my backpack or not. I think we'll be all right. I can't believe I haven't got a fish. It's only been like three casts, but. Oh, that's one. What is that? Ooh, fall fish. A big fall fish. Okay. Oh, there's a fish. Smalley. Fish number two. So I worked that one really slow. Almost felt like I was on the bottom because felt like I was maybe even snagged up until I saw the line moving. That's the thing with these Phoebes in these rivers is you gotta work them the right way to get bit, but that also means getting snagged pretty frequently. A lot of these fish are right behind these rocks. Right as I say that, oh my God. Yes, got it. Okay, last few casts with the Phoebe going to the swim bait. That's a fish. Smally. I think it's a little smallmouth. Ultralight Smally out of the river. Fish number three. There we go. Definitely gonna have to move because find some deeper running water. You could pick them off in these sections of the river, but when you're on a time limit and you want to catch like a big fish. Ooh. Got him. Ooh. So many little ones. So many little ones. All right, last cast. And we're moving on. No. Too early to go around losing Phoebe's. A Phoebe, the only Phoebe. Got it. 
That's a bite. Come on. Even if you're not big, I want one. Come on. Got him. Next cast, right after you're losing that Phoebe. Small mouth. Coming in at an ultralight limit here. Ugh. I can't make it last cast if I'm catching fish, I guess. Last cast. How many times have I said last cast? Four? Five? Six? Ooh, I just... It was a big wake. Got him. Another smallie. Hmm. Fighter. Wow. This is cool. Got him. Choked it. Battery died. Was still getting bit. Caught one more big fall fish. The weather's actually changing. Getting cloudier, a little colder. Good time as ever to change spots. All right, so starting to get a little wind, a little cloud. This is actually an idea Eric brought up last night was to throw something like this. There's a lot of big fall fish in here. I think that kind of is a good rep and I feel like maybe some of these bigger smallmouth will be, or whatever else is in here, probably feeding on those. And with this wind and cloud cover, this could be a nice bait. Oh no, this looks good. Let's get there. It's weird because like I'm seeing some signs that make this look private and then others that are saying like recreational areas open to the public. So I really don't know the situation and we're always gonna err on the side of fishing. So for now we fish. Got him. Oh, another one following it too. Okay, good to know. Fish here and the bait's working. Oh, fucking A. Okay, one last cast here and then there's a really good looking spot over there I wanna get to, but last cast here. Oh shit. I mean, if we can get down there, that looks insane. On that time limit grind right here. Looks like this takes us down pretty close. Oh my God, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yep. You're never the first, you're just never the first to fish a spot, ever. Never, never, ever. Anywhere in the world have I been the first and quite frankly, I doubt anyone who's watching our stuff has either. Because the only people who have a chance aren't watching YouTube. I'll tell you that. Oh God. So this whole stretch here, we're gonna wanna fish hard. And then I wanna fish that canal section and then move on to the final spot of the day with at least an hour or two left to fish it. Oh, got him. Got him. First cast with the spinner bait. First cast. It's a good one. No, it's not, but it's a fighter. Okay. Another beautiful Vermont smallmouth on a different bait this time. He choked it. Okay. There's probably a five pounder in here. And I think this is a better bait for like a big fish, you know, compared to throwing the Phoebe. That could be a better one. It's definitely fish. It's coming up. Okay, another small smallie. On these ultralights, it's just so crazy. Another Vermont smallie. There you go, there you have it. It makes this sound like it's gonna fly off every time I make a cast. Oh, that's a hit. Got him. Another smallie. Off he goes. Oh, baby. Right in between these rocks. Come on, come on. If we don't catch a giant in this spot on this bait, 
we're not leaving right away. We're gonna throw a few baits in here because I mean like, there should be giants in here. That's a fish. Little one. Still a good sign. It's actually a great sign because I think if the little ones will bite it, you know the bait's not the issue. And this is actually one of the bigger profile baits that I can theoretically throw on this ultralight effectively. That's a better fish. Or it's strong current, but either way it's a fish. The current's coming right at me, so I can't really tell how big he is. Another tiny one. Just gonna kinda let this roll on the bottom with that current. There we go, another one. Small one. It's actually always hard to tell though because they're coming right at me. But yup, another small mouth. There you go. Let's keep going. That pool, come on. Yup. Last cast here and then we're gonna make a attempt to make a pilgrimage. If it's at all possible. In fact, we may have to because I can't lose this bait either. And I'm not about to jump in this water. So. I guess that leaves me with no choice. This is such a key bait. I only got one bait that has this kind of profile. Uh, I'm still snagged, which makes this a little difficult. this but I don't have a choice that blows no oh my god okay knew that was it knew that could happen and I didn't really do much about it here we go shit casted I think I got hit but I'm kind of stuck moving backwards. Ah, unk! No! Oh my god. Okay. It's okay. Look at that. It's like... I don't even know how... I've yet to use a Kai Tech. It's almost like I'm saving my Mariano for the ninth. But I have two jig heads. So realistically, I have Pedro Feliciano for the holds and then Mariano for the save. First real cast of the jig and wrap. Either feeling good bottom or getting hit. Feeling good bottom, like I'm fluke fishing. Problem is I don't have Eric to rig him up for me. He just knows these jig heads so well. He gets the most perfect rig. So I just let him do it. That'll work though. Is that a fish? Oh, it is. Okay. And we're back to the Kai Tech being a key bait. What a surprise. Yeah, the Kai Tech is just the key bait in these rivers. It really is. Oh my God, they're annihilating it. Here we go, it's a fish. Fall fish? Third fall fish of the day, they're all giants. It's a good thing we're on the Kai Tech bite. It's a good thing. That's another one. Ooh. 
Definitely a better tug there. Yeah, he's a better one. That's close to a keeper. Yep. Decent one. Decent. Oh, there he goes. Fuck, I should probably land those ones. Oh. Yup. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, come back. That's one. See if that bigger one will come up. Another one. There he is. All right. That's why when you buy Kytex, you don't buy one pack. You buy like five at a time. Once a week, just budget it. It's only 2.38, it's good. I wish we did this till like 10 p.m. <laughs> Yum dingers, no, yeah, Sanko, done, done. Sanko's taste so good. Like I wish they made like sunflower seeds, like Sanko flavored. Mini Ned, super mini Ned. First cast on the Ned. I'm hooked up. It's a small one. Just every cast. Come on. Come on, be a better fish. That's a cool looking small mouth. Oh my god, that's like a different strain. I didn't get to see him that well. a better bite. It's not stripping any drag. Huh? All right. All right. Get out of that rock. Get out of that rock. On the Ned. Another good smallmouth. Beautiful fish. These rivers, man, are they loaded with life. Just absolutely, positively loaded. That's another bite right there. They have a tendency to come up too here in this river, like come up and make good jumps, just pretty cool. Really working this one pretty fast. I don't think he's that big. Another better one, actually. It's starting to get better. It's starting to get better, all in the ultralight. Just so crazy. <clears throat> better bite. They bite hard. All right. Okay, time to move because at this point I've caught so many fish that I would have thought I'd have a big one by now. So it's time to move spots. Yeah, it's time to move, almost move spots. Oh, better hit right away down there. Against the current, all the way against the current. There we go. Nice small mouth. See ya. I've actually been rigging these Kytex up so well right now. It's crazy. I'm never good at that. They just work anyway. Oh, there he is. Right at the right at the boat. Yum dingers. 
Nah, screw that. I'm gonna use the Sankos because they're just better at it. Don't, I don't care what people say. I don't care what the color is. These old Sankos, dude. Old Sankos. Probably tastes so good. <clears throat> On the yellow Ned. There we go. It is another small one. Because when I'm throwing these techs, I'm invincible. No Ned, no hold up my principal. Because I'm uh, bitches come. And bitches come. That's why I get my nut. I'll be out the fucking dough. I think the yellow net is a waste of time. That's what it comes down to. It's just a waste of time. I did not rig that up well. crazy in this current last couple casts i'm not even gonna say last anymore because it just ends up being a lie let's see let's see what's going on with the yum dinger here oh my god oh my god he nailed that they nailed the yum right here it's not even a bad one either it's just oh will we take it again oh there's like seven of them they're like seven of them. Oh my God. There's so many fish here. That one I got. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? There he is. That one I got hooked. get out of here before we waste any more of your time. Eric and I just actually adjusted the time I requested, to be honest, for 6.30 rather than 5.30 because I think we're both kind of starting to figure some stuff out, but I want to make a move because neither of us, we updated each other, have really done anything crazy yet. Like something where we've caught like a crazy fish. So I'm gonna try and go somewhere on a river system that I've never fished here. And, you know, I got fished the Missisquoi in the Missisquoi Bay region a couple of times in these past few weeks, which is ridiculous, because I've been in Brooklyn. <laughs> but the one thing about it is I haven't located that crazy big fish bite. So we're, I'm going somewhere where I, I don't necessarily think there's gonna be like giant smallmouth, although there could be, but I, I, I'm i gonna tr really try hard for like a big, big trout. I don't even know what this river looks like. I don't even know if you can see this on the GoPro, but the green mountains are just insane. They're insane. So even though I am very confident that the Kai Tech would get the job done here, I am going to Switch up to a confidence bait. Being on limited time, I don't even want to start with anything else than the Phoebe. Little hustle. Let's get down there. Another war story from a thirsty young hustler. Young hustler. Another war. War story, war story, another war story from a thirsty young hustler. Once the, once the, once the pen hits the pad, it's danger, it's danger.